IFC used to be called inflammatory control. And the FDA didn't like this word because it's too medically descriptive. So Cellcor just changed the name, to the letters IFC. So think of it as um, really good for healing. And it's not necessarily an anti-inflammatory like a drug is. Drugs do not promote healing. Products like IFC can help promote healing. And that's the whole bottom line as regarding getting off of uh, medications and getting rid of pain and healing any kind of tissue, whether it's skin rash or a joint pain or muscle pain, fibromyalgia. You want to be able to reduce inflammation by increasing healing as opposed to reducing inflammation by squashing the inflammatory uh, proteins that make inflammation in the first place. Two totally different ways of thinking about healing the body or uh, addressing symptoms. Medicine wants to address your symptom by squashing it. And then the natural healers and the supplement manufacturers, they want to address that symptom by getting you through the healing process so the symptom goes away naturally because you've facilitated the healing properties and biochemical pathways that conclude the inflammatory cycle and the healing cycle. It's very nourishing with fulvic and humic acid. Also, it has, it's very detoxifying too. So it's got broccoli, uh, sprout, artichoke, wheatgrass, pineapple bromelain, which is an enzyme that uh, gets rid of unwanted proteins in the body, olive leaf to help the immune system, maybe take care of some microorganisms, and the fulvic acid and humic acid that are at the bottom of this uh, ingredients list, they help all the other nutrients get through the stomach, which is acidic, and through the bile of the gallbladder, which is alkaline. So the fulvic and humic acid buffers the pH so that these other ingredients get into the intestines and then it can um, get absorbed into the body through the intestines. And that's one thing that makes the Cellcor products uh, greater than other products that have similar ingredients because they have the fulvic and humic acid to protect those nutrients and ingredients to get them through the stomach and the bile so that they, when they arrive in the intestines, they're still intact. This is great stuff.